All right, when it comes to drop setting using dumbbells, what you want to do is find a resistance that you normally you can do, make it a little bit heavier so that when you get to that point of fatigue where your form starts to break down and the movement starts to slow down, you put the weights down and you have a weight right next to it. And then this way you can get that burnout. Think about it, when you're really tired, what ends up happening is that light weight begins to feel like that heavy weight. So if you want to build muscle at the same time building fat while using dumbbells, start heavy and then drop to light so that your form continues, that the pace continues, and then your muscles, they're tricked into thinking, hey, we're still lifting as heavy as we possibly can. All right, when it comes to the kettlebells, this is a perfect setup, so I'm gonna be doing squats. I've got my 70 pounders, and then I've got my 20, okay? So what you wanna do is make sure that you're lifting into that perfect form. Now, this is a good weight for me. I would go heavier for this, so I'd lift a weight that I'm really kind of struggling through, get five or six reps. Remember when the muscle starts to really feel fatigue. So if I start to slow down, I'm lifting like this. Don't try and push out another rep. Grab your other weights and then go right into that full range of motion. And this way that muscle's on attack mode 100% of the time. All right, when it comes to the cable machines, you wanna start off with the weight that's again, too heavy. So if I'm normally doing nine or 10, I would go down to 11 or 12. Okay, so that's just above my normal weight. So then this way I'm focusing on that strength and then we're gonna attack that muscle in a different way. So if I was doing triceps and I'm like one, two, three, and then I'm like this, right? I start to slow down right away, okay? Put the weight down, drop down. Sometimes the nice thing about cables is that you can do a quick transition. So let's say six, seven, eight, nine, and I still have time in the timer. I might even drop it down by a little bit, okay? So I'd go down here, now I can focus on that squeeze, that time over tension. So example would be, I would start with 12 on the plate stack, do about five to six reps where I'm really tired, drop it down to nine, which is like my normal, get another three to five reps until that range starts to kind of break down and I start to slow down too much, and then drop it down to six and finish off that meltdown with that cable drop set.